A. So, let's solve this problem. So, Bernard received two offers on a lot that he wants to sell. Then, Christians has offered 50,000 pesos and a 1 million pesos lump sum payment 5 years from now. Then, Gilbert has offered 50,000 pesos plus 40,000 every quarter for 5 years. So, compare the fair market value of the two offers if the money can earn 5% compounded annually, and which of the offers has a higher market value. So first, we need to solve for this uh, Christian offer. So we have this down payment, that's 50,000 pesos, and this future value. So since we have 1 million pesos, the lump sum payment, so therefore the future value is 1 million. Then for the rate, that's 5%. And 5% in decimal, that's 0 0.05. Then for the time, seems payment 5 years from now. So the time is equal to 5. Then for this compounding period, since 5% compounded annually, so therefore, once in a year, so M is equal to 1. Then for the number of periods, so that's m times the time. Since m is equal to 1 and t or time is equal to 5, so therefore the number of periods is equal to 5. So to solve now the present value of this Christian's offer, so using this formula, but first we need to find the interest per period so formula for the interest per period, that's the rate over the compounding period. So we have this, the rate, that's 0 0.05, and the compounding period, that's 1. So therefore, the interest per period is 0 0.05. So we can solve now the present value, so just substitute all the values. So we have this uh, future value, that's 1 million then over 1 plus the interest per period, that's 0 0.05, then to the power n, n is equal to 5. So to solve now the present value, since this 1 plus 0 0.05 is equal to 1.05, so we have now this 1 million, then divide by this 1.05, 0, 0.5 then to the power 5 equals so the present value is 783,526.17 so the present value is 783,526.17 then to find the fair market value so from this formula that's the down payment plus the present value so the down payment is 50,000 and this computed present value is 783,526.17. So therefore, the fair market value of this Christian's offer, so we have 50,000 plus 783,526.17. So so that's 833,526.17. So this is now the fair market value of Christian's offer. Then for this uh, Gilbert's offer, so we have this the down payment, that's 50,000 pesos, then plus 40,000 pesos every quarter, so therefore, this 40,000 pesos is the periodic payment. So periodic payment is 40,000 pesos. Then for M sub 1, since the periodic payment is every quarter, so therefore 4 times in a year. So M sub 1 is equal to 4. Then for the rate, that's 5%. So in decimal, that's 0.05. For M sub 2, so the compounding period, so compounded annually, so therefore M sub 1 is equal to 1. Then for the time, so we have this 
for 5 years. So therefore, time is equal to 5. Then for this number of periods, so that's m sub 1 times the time. So m sub 1 is 4 and the time is 5. So that's 4 times 5. So therefore, the number of periods is equal to 20. So since the periodic payment is every quarter and the compounding period is annually, so therefore, we need to convert this 5% compounded annually to quarterly. So using this formula to find the interest per period, so we have R or the rate, that's 0 0.05, then over m sub 2, so m sub 2 is equal to 1, then to the power m sub 2, that's 1, then over m sub 1, then minus 1. Then simplify, so since this uh, 0 0.05 over 1 is 0 0.05, then plus 1, so this one is equal to 1.05. Then this uh, 1 divided by 4, that's 0.25, then minus 1. Then to solve now for the interest per period, so we have this 1.05, then to the power 0.25 equals 10 minus 1 equals to the 0 0.01227.22. So, this is now the interest per period. So, to solve now for the present value of this Gilbert's offer, and J, or the interest per period, is 0 0.01227.22, then substitute now all the values for this formula. So, P is the periodic payment. That's 40,000. Then we have 1 minus 1 plus j, j is 0 0.122722, then to the power, negative n. So n is 20, so that's negative 20. Then over j, so j is 0 0.01227722. Then to solve now for this present value, since this one, plus this 0.01227.22 is equal to 1.01227.22. So we have now 1, then minus, so this 1.01227.22, then to the power, negative 20, then equals, then divide, by this 0 0.01227.22 then equals 10 times this periodic payment so times 40,000 so therefore the present value is 705,572.92 so this is now the present value of Gilbert's offer then to solve for the fair market value of Gilbert's offer, so again formula does the down payment plus the present value. So down payment is 50,000 and the present value that's 705,572.92. So therefore the fair market value of Gilbert's offer, so we have this 50,000 then plus 705,572.92 then equals so that's 755,572.92 so this is now the fair market value of Gilbert's offer then we need to compare the two fair market values so for Christian's offer and for Gilbert's offer so therefore, based from these two fair market values, Christian's offer has higher market value.